In case you were wondering how I ended up doing with my Camp NaNoWriMo goals, I'm going to cover that in today's video. Hi everyone, welcome back. So as you know, I set quite a few goals for July Camp NaNoWriMo this year. And so I just wanted to check back in with you and let you know how that ended up going. The first thing I want to say is I did not end up reaching nearly all of my goals, but I did hit quite a few of them. I did manage to get through 50,000 words for my other goal, which was Amy's Rebellion, and I'm hoping to have the entire story done by the end of this month, because 50,000 words didn't quite get me to the end. The beta reading and editing for Moonvine, which is an anthology, that is going to be released on October 1st, so once it's released I'll put a link in this video, and for now I'll put a link so you can actually submit if you're interested in joining the anthology, because we do have a couple of spaces open. The other writing goal I had was to do 15,000 words around 15 to 20,000 words for Lips as Red as Blood. I unfortunately decided to drop that goal because I had fallen behind in a couple of other goals and I unfortunately did not get into the anthology like I had been hoping. So it really just wasn't my priority. I got about 4,000 words done for it, which is still pretty good and I'll probably come back to that story later. It's just not a priority because it's not one of my main series right now. My two main series that I want to work on are the Gemstone Massacre series and my Spellbound series because I still have the second book to finish editing and then I need to finish writing and editing the third book because I want to try to release them a little bit closer together because it took me almost a year between the release of Spellbound and Gabriel's Curse, so I want to speed up the process a little bit more this time. And as far as editing goals go, <sighs> I did not get there and there is a specific reason why I didn't get there. For one, the story needs way more editing than I thought I was going to need on it. It's going to need like a full character arc revamp for two characters, one of them being a main character. And the second reason is, and this is the most important reason, during the month of Camp NaNoWriMo, I had computer problems, which ended up preventing me from finishing my edits. I actually did not have access to my editing files for about a week and a half or so because I didn't back it up on Google Drive like I normally do. So when my computer decided to go and I took it to the computer repair shop, I forgot to back everything up. So they had it, the file and I didn't have a chance to go and get the file until about a week later and by then I had already fallen really hopelessly behind. I am still working on it. I'm hoping to finish it. By the end of this month, I got to about page 70 or 80, which still isn't horrible. It's just not as fast as I would have liked to get it done, but that's okay. And as far as marketing goals go, I did set up quite a bit of marketing for Were the Twin Swords. I got a few reviews in. I still haven't gotten all of them in yet, so I'm waiting on a couple of reviewers. My other goal was to work on publishing-wise. I wanted to build my newsletter, and I wanted to market War of the Twin Swords. I did get a chance to do both of those things. The marketing didn't go as well as I had hoped because I didn't really have a ton of time to dedicate to it with everything else that I was trying to get done. I managed to hit a thousand subscribers and I think now I'm at around a thousand and eighty subscribers so my goal for this month is going to be to get to a thousand two hundred and fifty. If you're trying to build your newsletter, Book Funnel has been a lifesaver for me. I have two reader magnets. One of them is just sample chapters from Spellbound and the other one is the entirety of War of the Twin Swords and those two things have really helped me build my newsletter which has been awesome. As far as reading goals go. I finished A Curse So Dark and Lonely and absolutely loved it. However, I don't know if I'm going to read the second book because I wasn't super happy with how it ended. We'll see if I decide to come back to that series 
And the other thing I wanted to finish was the sequel to Misfits and it was called Outlaws. I did finish it. I haven't read the third book in the series yet and I don't know when I'm going to read it because the way it was left off I'm like I'm not sure how I feel about how the second book ended but I still want to know what happens so it's it's there in my priorities but it's not in my top priorities. My final writing goal was to host a live write-in. I did end up hosting two during Camp NaNoWriMo and I had a ton of fun even though there weren't a ton of people there and I'm hoping to do some more of them in the future. I also joined several write-ins of other author tubers when I was doing my 7,000 words in a day. It was supposed to be 10,000 but I ended up hitting closer to about 7,000. I also am hoping sometime later this month to do an office tour so you can kind of just see what my little workspace looks like and how I arrange everything. To be quite honest, half the time I don't really even use this desk. I use it mostly if I'm doing live write-ins or if I'm working on something where I need to be at a desk. But generally when I write, I seem to be more comfortable sitting on the couch or sitting in my bed. That's just what I've become accustomed to and I tend to do my best work when I'm sitting there. So it is what it is. But that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to my channel and let me know how Camp NaNoWriMo went for you. Did you hit your goals or are some of them going to be carrying over into future months? Thanks. Bye.